hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azina williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so we're gonna be starting off with Ghanaian actress akwe ben polo now it's no longer any news that she was um sentenced to jail for 90 days um for or the picture she took with her son which was not appropriate and all that well the good news is that she has been granted bail after thousands of people signed a petition for her jail sentence to be reduced and for her to be freed yes people of god and Accra high court has granted the convicted actress um a bail of eighty thousand cities on wednesday the court granted her bail with two shorties to be justified as part of her bail condition polo whose real name is rosemont brown has to report to the case um investigator every two weeks she's also supposed to deposit her passport with the registrar of the court the court presided over by justice ruby ayate said she will only travel with the express permission of the court the court further said the applicant has satisfied the four grounds of bail pending appeal the application for bail was not opposed by the state who were present in court represented by senior state attorney salase Kwa no yes so basically what this means in a nutshell is that she has been granted bail and um this shows the power of social media a lot of celebrities came out nigerian celebrities some Ghanaian celebrities came out and said yes what she did is wrong morally wrong and um yeah you can give her um you can you know give her some punishment but like 90 days in jail that's so harsh for just a picture that's really really harsh and yeah the social media spoke and the world listened so yeah basically that is the power of social media i'm happy for her i mean judging by her last video that she did it was quite emotional but i'm actually happy for her and i know going on from here we won't really have a repeat of this now away from akweb and polo let's go over to our nigerian darling actress dami lola at Debite. Now, Damilola Debite caused a lot of concern yesterday as she cleaned out her Instagram page, basically deleting everything from her Instagram page. And the only thing she left is this, trust no one. People of God, yesterday this was trending on Twitter as everybody was concerned. Like, I mean, okay, we know that most times when celebrities want to rebrand or want to like, you know, give a new look to themselves, to their Instagram pages or social media pages, they often delete everything. The video has done it, Tacha has done it, other celebrities has done it. But why is this one um, getting a lot of people concerned? The fact that she actually posted this picture at which said, trust no one. And for those of you who do not know her, she's an actress um she starred in lots of movies um she also starred in um the popular series tinsel she was once married to chris Atto. yes people of god the ghanaian actor chris Atto. so yeah um we just hope that whatever it is you know that she comes out of it strong where our prayers are with her at the moment now away from dami lola at debite let's go over to some big brother niger just yes so we're gonna be starting yeah with um the first runner up of big brother niger double wahala cc now cc has been cutting wahala here and there and you're gonna ask me why first this video mm -hmm, where she's looking so beautiful and secondly this particular video where she almost shared a case with actor team mini now when this video made rounds on social media yesterday a lot of people were speculating oh they are dating they are not dating they are dating they are not dating people of god this is not a dating something remember there was a time i posted a video of she and mawuli gavo well it happens that she's actually on set for the movie um assistant madams i think assistant madams part two or season two yes people of god so there is no case going on it's a movie ah you know one thing i just noticed that we love love we, we can deny how much we love all these things but we actually do whenever we see um all these celebrities with the opposite gender we always assume these things no i mean that shows we love all these things no matter how much we deny it well the thing is she trended yesterday because of that well she is not the only one that trended yesterday your girl told 
Kalani Baj also trended yesterday. In fact, at some point, she was at number one on the Nigerian trend list. Yes, people have got. And you ask me, why did Tolani Baj trend? Well, Tolani Baj trended because the box, yes, this particular box of wigs. I mean, who will wear this box of wigs for how many days of reunion filming? I mean, this housemate, they know they agree. Ah, ah. You know, when this, you know, came to public knowledge that she actually carried a box full of wigs, everybody went haywire on Twitter. They were like, ah, turn the badge is the babe. I mean, how many wigs would she now wear in a day? Yes, people of God, she trended yesterday because of that. Now, away from Tolani Badge, let's go over to some tweets that your ex big brother has made has been putting up um ever since the reunion or let's just say since yesterday now um Watoni put this tweet and said stick your pride where the sun don't shine now when she put this tweet out a lot of people were speculating what does I mean what does this mean does this have anything to do with the reunion who I mean what happened well i really don't think this has anything to do with the reunion why because watoni has always been putting out quotes like this on twitter so when i saw it mm, i wasn't really like um pumped up to put out put it out or say oh it's about the reunion i really didn't see anything it might be about the reunion but because watoni is used to putting such out on twitter that's why i really don't um read any meanings into it but let me know what you think do you think this is about the reunion let me know in the comment section now away from watoni let's go over to this tweet by praise now praise has been one person that has been tweeting posting videos and all that well he came yesterday and he tweeted this and said hmm if only then he now put this walking away emoji now a lot of people were speculating what is going on definitely this has something to do with the reunion who did what is the hmm all about i mean these people should start using their art button once in a while the art button is not there for you know fancy tell us what happened okay i know sometimes you know they are not allowed to say anything because big brother but then again don't be keeping us in suspense just don't tweet at all i mean or even if you want to tweet tweet the one we can decode like what um kid wire did here well kid wire tweeted this and ah you don't even need any microscope to know what is going on here well kid wire tweeted and said before i sleep i must say i'm proud of at Tolani badge at the dorothy badge at official katarina you girls killed it and he now put the laughing emoji now when i saw these three names i what i saw is violence written all over them yes because these three ladies whether we like it or not are ladies that are fearless they're gonna tell you what they want to tell you no matter how you feel and for kid where to come out and tag them and actually say what he said ha <laughs> voila. Hmm. voila we don't actually know what this is all about but we definitely know that it's about the reunion and people of god we, we cannot wait to see what these ladies did at the reunion trust me i am eagerly awaiting but it will really pay me oh it will pay me if i want that reunion and i don't see anything whoa <clears throat> ah let me just let me just comment my reserve at this point anyways away from kid wire then let's go over to to Dorothy yes Dorothy was not having it with some people last night well she tweeted this this um, and said you obviously didn't watch the show if you think I can be controlled and told what to do she also went on to say read the first line of that tweet and you all need to understand that whatever I do I do with my full chest now a lot of people have been speculating that oh this is about the reunion what happened blah 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 but I beg to differ this really has nothing to do with the reunion rather this has something to do with overzealous fans then you ask me isn't it how i'm gonna read a tweet that her sister put out um as of 12 a.m or so i'm not even sure about the time before dora actually put hers out and i'm gonna read her sister said that is cynthia bacho she said it's how you even think anyone can tell her what to do for me i'm only addressing this because it's beyond disgusting some of you have gone as far as sending insulting dms to her family members let's not talk about the dms i get and then tagging my mom stop this madness biko yeah and she also went on to say again my tweet is not for shippers i'm addressing a set of people with dustbin behavior basically gutter behavior now 
from this tweet that um, Cynthia put out, you can already see that this has nothing to do with the ex housemates or the reunion. This has something to do with the overzealous fans going into their DMs, spewing trash, you know, tagging their family members. And you know what? From all these things, this whole thing started the moment Dora blocked Prince. Whether we like to say it or not, I saw it. I saw a lot of people insulting Prince, some of them insulting Dora. I think I did a video on that some time ago, you know, and I knew that at some point it would go as far as people going into their DMs. But why? Why would people do this? You know, some were even saying, some explorers were even saying that there are some VVIPs. They singled one person out, you know, where they said that it's this VVIP that was telling Dora to, you know, block brains that were telling dora not to have anything to do with prince i'm like are you kidding me right now is dora a five year old i feel it got to a point where cynthia could no longer hold it she has to come out and thereby making dora to also tweet this now is cynthia the first person to tweet about this no even um prince's elder sister at some point some i think last month or so tweeted something like that you know but I think in all this, what I got from all this, over Zillio's fans should rest. I keep saying this over and over and over again. You are a fan. You cannot even dictate what they would do with their life. You are not their parents. Even at some point, children defy their parents. So I don't get why you feel like because you're a fan, because you contributed money, you voted or what, then you have a right to run their lives. You don't. I mean, I feel everything should have a limit. People should know their limit. This housemate, I keep saying it. A lot of fans, you know, keep seeing these housemates as an object of their fantasy. Oh, um, because maybe your own love life is not working out, then you want to project that on them, your fantasies, you know, making them object of your fantasies. Oh, this is how it should go. So you will have your happily ever after. Forgetting that these people are humans. They are humans. They have the rights to their emotions. They have the rights to association. So if things don't work out, and the funny thing about this is nobody actually knows nobody actually knows what really went down and that is why i am actually looking forward to the reunion because i really want to have um i really want to know what actually went down all we hear is sources said this sources said tomato sauce said maggie sauce said that's what we know and i keep telling you guys when i put out that story take it with a pinch of salt because i am not sure if it's something i'm sure about i will say it on my full chest you know it's something you don't even know who is at fault we are just assuming we are just reading signs we're just trying to read their writings on the wall misinterpreting or interpreting so at this point i think everybody should just chill be their fans support them support their businesses but don't try to run their lives i mean because you if you are put in that position you won't even like it at all and this is not just about dora or friends this is about all of them because i've seen it happen across the housemates especially the ones that are um let me just use the word more popular you know trying to run their lives for them know your place as a fan love them support them but please don't be going and tagging their family members. Nobody, their family members go Big Brother. They are the ones that went for Big Brother. Let's just keep it nice and clean and enjoy the cruise as, you know, enjoy the cruise that comes with everything. That's it from me, people of God. Thank you so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Till I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Nee Williams. Have yourself a beautiful day. Bye, guys.